uh, <clears throat> discussion and possible action on the sale of parcel of property taken by tax foreclosure closure parcel ID number two eight one zero one three nine four zero two zero zero. Um, do we have a motion to go into closed session? I can make a motion we go into closed session. I'll second it. Motion is made and been seconded to go into closed session. Uh, roll call vote to go into closed session, please. Tracy? Yes. Doug? Doug? Yes. Aaron? Yes. Jim? Brad? Yes. Okay. <clears throat> We're in closed session to discuss the possible sale of this piece of property. Um, I guess Mo or, or whoever is there. I, I think we need to just a second. Just to make sure that we're good. We're good. Okay. Okay. Everybody off. Can you hear me all right? <laughs> yep. I, I did send you off. I did send out. We have two offers on this property now. Uh, the first uh, uh, one you received has up their offer. For Christensen's to $265,000 with 20% down. Uh, they intend to build four flex units on the property. The second offer is from Quirk Brothers. They uh, own Tri State Bobcat. And they're asking that their price is $295,000. They have a couple of contingencies. Uh, the zoning is zone commercial. Uh, land use permits get approved. Access to public property. This one here, though, we can only guarantee that they have access off of Wilbur. We don't have control of if they get access off of Highway 8 on the property. That is up to WizDOT in the state. We cannot control that. If we do take their offer, we'd have to stipulate that in our counter offer that we do not have control at that point. Um, otherwise, um, their contingencies are there. Hopefully, you got the uh, updated email this afternoon on that. But those are the two offers on the properties. We, we have a letter of approval for financing for the Christensen. Um, the Quirk, I tried to research the company as best I could. They do have three campuses that have been around since 83. But Neither Bloomberg, Dun and Bradstreet, or Manta have anything about revenues or anything like that. Um, but all their showrooms, they look nice when you look at the websites. It looks like they're a fairly substantial business. Their employee reviews, like on Glassdoor and all, were positive. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Did you say that was Worth Brothers? I think it's Quirk. Work. Q U I okay. R K. Oh, okay. Uh, well, any, th I... any thoughts out there from anybody? Yep. Uh, I, it's not a thought, but I guess I didn't re I relay on to Mo that I am not getting uh, the county email right now. I having a problem I have to get to, over to IT and talk about it but uh, Lisa's sending my emails at my home address home email so I didn't get your update that's all I'm okay. letting you know okay you know I'm looking at the same thing Doug and I had to go to spam in my personal one um, and then that's where it was so I'm I'm seeing it for the first time as we as we speak um, I didn't the, only about, the only thing about the work, and the realtor said they're working on it, is the work did not provide uh, a financing letter or a funds available to close the sale. But the realtor said they're working. Did you, did you have something, out? Tracy? Other than that. I didn't, I didn't get anything because I'm at work, so I didn't see anything either, so. 
Okay, I, I thought you were, I thought that was your voice I heard trying to cut in um, earlier. Um, so we've got, we've got a pre-approved letter from the Christiansons as far as the, the, they're pre-approved for the 20% down plus pre-approved for the loan if it, if it um, appraises. Yes. And there's no, no conditions on the Christensen one. Financing is the only condition. Yeah. Other contingencies. Well, I hate to leave thirty thousand on the table, but I don't know. That's. It seems like it might be the better of the two, I, but I'm not sure. That just, just a thought. Which of the two did you say is better, Brad? Well, I, I'm just saying the Christensen one at, at 265. Like I said, I, I hate to leave 30,000 on the table, but there's, you know, there's no contingencies. Um, and, and it's just, I mean, it's only, it's contingent on the, the buyer getting the, the, you know, it's appraising and getting approved for the loan, I guess, where, um, did I say, did I, did I hear right that, that the Bobcat place is, is looking for maybe an, a, a driveway onto Highway 8? Yes. Okay, so, you know, I think contingencies like that could jump up and bite us in a hurry because the odds they're going to get a driveway onto Highway 8, I think, is probably pretty small. I would agree with that. It's been a, it's, excuse me, Mr. Chairman, it's been a few years ago, but it seems like there was a discussion in our committee that there were, there were no more accesses on Highway 8 That's in correct. our vicinity. Yeah, I, yeah, I agree. I agree a hundred percent with that, Doug. That I know what the property next door, there's no, all the way to Highway 35, no new driveways. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, with a contingency like that, you know, they might, they might be out right from the, right from the start. And I guess we're, we're, we're 45, 50,000 above the offer that fell through at 265. I didn't see that fall through for trying to get the other 30,000. I agree with the hard way it says it. That's yeah. not go, go ahead, Sharon. Uh, the highway says I, I think that's, that becomes a Yeah. But then the other thing to consider is the dark, the dark score issue will apply to the Bobcat dealership. So that will apply as well. And that's part of the shuttle in St. Croix Falls. So, so it's, it's hard to I don't know. Probably that you probably get more from the bottom end of the sales tax, but you know, the dark snow is more of a thing. If they pull it up, it's really dark. Yeah. Not all the retail is Any, any thoughts one way or the other, Tracy? I agree with you um, in terms of, you know, the 265 versus 295 waiting for 30,000. They're not going to access. Yeah. Yeah. So are we are we somewhat in agreement that 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 we take the Christensen offer, or does somebody think we should should look at Bobcat a little more? Mr. Chairman, I, I guess I'm agreeing with everybody because if, if their one option is to have access on Highway 8, that could be a big setback. We should just go with the Christensen one. Yeah. 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 I, yeah, I hate to lose that because we tried to get another 30,000 with a whole bunch of contingencies. So, 
Um, and you're okay with that too, Sharon? I am. Okay. Um, motion to reconvene into open session and then um, looking for just a, a, res an, a motion to accept the Christensen office, offer. Correct, 265. Right. Yep, yep. I make the motion so, go back to the I can second that. Okay. Motion's been made and seconded to go back into open session. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed the same. Uh, we are back into open session again. Um, would anybody like to make a motion? <laughs> Motion that we accept Christian office. I'll second it. Motion has been made and seconded to accept the uh, Christian offer on parcel ID 281-0139402002. Uh, all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed the same. Motion carried. Motion to adjourn. I make the motion we adjourn. Second. Motion's been made and seconded to adjourn. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed the same. We stand adjourned. Everyone. <laughs> thanks for the pa thanks for the patience, everyone. <laughs> I'm <laughs> sorry.